community. Welcome to the Common Metrics Working Group meeting for uh, May 12th, 2022. We have a few things on the agenda to talk about today. We don't have um, a ton of stuff, but we'll review the action items from the previous meeting, uh, review some open issues and PRs, we'll talk about the process for reviewing old metrics, although we might not talk about that because that's what I think that was Sean's action item. And yeah, yeah. Um, assuming the node makes it, because he's usually a few minutes late um, because of the bus. Uh, if he makes it, we'll talk about time waiting for reviewer action and progress on that as well. Um, anything else we want to add to the agenda? I don't think so. I was thinking about it, but not really. Okay. I did, uh, I did uh, put in a PR to uh, add some uh, a formatting recommendation to the uh, the metrics template, and I, I think that would be that's part of this group. Yes, no. I had merged it anyway, so okay. Um, <laughs> it's too it, late. <laughs> so, so it, it is. It's kind of general guidance on the formatting for bulleted lists, and it does it does affect the. Uh, uh, I think some of the uh, some of the metrics that are being revisited. Okay. Uh, so, in short, what in short, the way the list look in Markdown doesn't necessarily get pulled all the way through properly into WordPress, and we just needed to. Kevin knew how to format it properly in uh, GitHub in a Markdown file so that WordPress could get along with it. Okay. Yeah. So if you see a bulleted list that doesn't look correct, look to the template for guidance. Right. Okay, just taking a few notes in the reviewing old metrics section. Cool. Okay, so action items from the previous meeting. Uh, Sean is going to go through the release metrics to determine next steps for revisiting, um, but we don't have Sean today um, because he's big in Finland. That's what he's told me. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, and then Matt, you were going to add a drop down option to the spreadsheet to be under yep. revision. I did it. It's in common right now. So um, it, there's not much to look at. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> there's now a drop down called revising, and it just changes the color to a slightly different shade of green. Cool. Oh, we do have a note here. So we can talk about his action items from, from last week. I see his, his iPad. Um, I need that... one minute. I'm just trying to log from my laptop. So just let you know I'm here. Just need one minute. Okay. Yeah. So we, we won't hit you with your action items right away. Okay. We'll okay. give you, we'll give you some time, let you get settled. Um, okay. so while we, while we wait, let's do the pull requests because we got several pull requests and I wasn't sure if anyone had looked at these yet. Um, so let's look at them together. Cause I had some questions about them. Um, I'm not sure who this this person is. Are they? They've been recently very active with respect okay. to really about the metrics revisions. Okay. Like recently, meaning the last week, probably. And I mean, I think the recommendations, at least in the DEI working group, have been in line with, um, like, okay, so the these I think I'm guessing these are revision requests or revisions to existing metrics. Yeah, they're 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 small small changes that we can talk about. But sorry, sorry. The reason I was asking if we knew who this person is is I just wanted to see if they were like an outreachy student or a summer Google of, Google Summer of Code. Google Summer of Code. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one of the have we accepted the Google Summer of Code people, or is this someone who wants to be a Google Summer of Code? Student? It's the latter. Okay. We have put in the request, but right now it's in Google's hands, and we're not sure how it's gonna. Okay. You know, you know how it is. You put in a request and then you're like, we'll, we'll see yeah. what they approve. No, I, I just like to know because if yes. it's, you know, uh, if it's one of these people, then they probably have a mentor that if there are any questions that we can also talk to the mentor. But, this uh, is this is a little out of order. So the way that it's okay. supposed to work is that we have an issue that we open. Yeah. So like Sean would open an issue in here explaining like what he sees as things to be improved on a metric like redundancy in lists or formatting problems or the descriptions unwieldy or something like that okay you know what i mean and yep. then a pull request is made against 
against that issue, you know? And so I think yep. the issue has been skipped here. Okay. And the issue then comes also with a, you know, how we have that set of check boxes, like when we release a metric mm -hmm. for revising, it has the same set of check boxes. So it really, we do really do need to follow. Although like that one is not. Yeah, <laughs> no, this one. So this is, this is just <laughs> updating the, um, copyright on two things that's fine yep. um but one is one is the the license um what is the correct approach to use it i'm not sure so somewhere i see it's 2018 to 22 somewhere it's just 19 to 22. Uh, yeah that was my that was my other question is are are those dates correct so with uh, so with with copyright, the uh, the copyright goes from the uh, date of creation of the document to the uh, to the current date. Uh, however, so it's, that's this style has kind of gained popularity in in website design, mm -hmm. where you where you have the range, uh, and the yeah. So the so it would be the the date of creation for the document or the website to the current date. However, it's also perfectly acceptable to just have the, the updated date. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a, a, a matter of preference. I think they say for, for things that are updated quite frequently, like a website, that, that range has become more common. Uh, but just the, the updated 2022 copyright date should be acceptable. Okay. Um, and I did look, both those files were created in 2019. Um, yeah. So it so is, it is I, an appropriate range. Should I just go ahead and merge this? Does anybody have any concerns? No, not on this. Okay. We'll go ahead and merge that one. And then update event locations. So this is a, this is a metric, um, but basically we had, we left the optional it's bit, event. which was yeah. just a template thing that should have been removed in the first place. So I'm, I'm inclined to go ahead and that's fine. Merge yeah. this one yeah. as well. Okay. Loans. Um, basically, there were a couple of mangled um, links or links that should have been actual links that weren't links. What is it? So, uh, so this one, um, oh, see, it should have been a link, I and see. they just never linked the text. Um, I gotcha. So, from my standpoint, this one is probably. That probably makes sense. This one we had improperly capitalized GitHub, which I see a lot of, and that also seems to seems to make sense. Yep. Um, and then this I think is probably just a really poorly formatted um, link. Okay. Yep. That I'm also formatted. Yeah, I think these are good, and I don't. I think for my earlier comments about like not following process of issues. I don't think these are really that. Do you have any concerns, Kevin? I do not. Okay, sorry. You were leaning in on your screen and it looked like you were either going to say something or were oh, deep no. in thought. So I... <laughs> I'm sitting outside. So there's a little bit of a glare on my screen. So I'm, I'm leaning in so I can see the text. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, Oops, that wasn't what I meant to click on. Okay, so we'll go ahead and merge this one too. Okay. 
And then one more. And it looks like this is a link that was that changed. Let's just confirm that that link is no longer valid or is redirecting. Yeah, okay. That's just what it redirected to, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, any objections uh, to merging this one? Uh, can you check the address? I think the address is Bitbucket in the original one. Is it still working? I'm not sure. It is, but it, it redirected to, I think, what is this new one? So these two seems to be... One is repo and other one is... Okay. Yeah, so it's an updated link and the redirect wasn't wasn't quite um, the redirect wasn't taking it to the specific section, I think is the problem with the original link. I am impressed with the uh, the level of detail in, in uh, finding that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <That's>, uh... Agreed. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Okay. Do we have any new issues we want to talk about? Doesn't look like we do. Okay. Um, are we, let me just close some of these extra tabs. So uh, now we'll go back and review the action items from the from the previous meeting. Um, so there were a bunch of action items related to time waiting for reviewer action. So I've, I've put time waiting for reviewer action on the, um, on the agenda. Were you, did you get a chance you know, to go through and resolve the comments? And yes, I have resolved them. I fixed the things. The only thing that is left for my action item is to confirm from the Grimoire lab, whether okay. they have a graph or not, which I haven't done it, so. Okay, so I will. And so you looked at the other. Uh, yep. Okay, perfect. So I'll just move that action item for yep. next time. Um, and we'll we'll get to that metric in just a second. So reviewing old metrics. Is there anything we need to talk about around that action item or that? Uh, no, it item? just needs to happen. Sean okay. just needs to sit down or somebody just needs to sit down and just read them and make comments. Sean is, Sean is pretty busy. Uh, I've got value on my to-do list for this week. I could, I could try to do the common one as well. I'm sure he'll get to it, but I know, but I do know he's super busy as well. So even that, just that, for what it's worth, Kevin, even like with DEI, I think I had done like four, maybe five. I didn't do them all to start. I thought we could kind okay. of do them in phases because we have six months to get through okay. them all. So maybe split up value and split up common. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll just do it. Maybe I'll do I'll add a couple to my list just. To, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just so we can get the ball rolling. Yep. Okay. I'll do that. I'll add that to my to do. Okay. So I'll give you an action item to bring a few back. Okay, cool. Um, anything else we need to add to the agenda before we talk about time waiting for reviewer action? Okay. Um, Fanel, do you wanna just... Uh, I think it's comments? just need a read from all of you and if it feels good, then you're good. Except we need images from Augur and Grimona. Okay.
we want to just take a few minutes and read through this and yeah that works for me oh what are the I see Matt's comment on the mental reviewer types. So these are those like uh, maintainer, manager, or I, the names are not coming in my mind. So I'm not sure. These there are different types of contribution or maintainers. Yeah, GitHub. GitHub has uh, I think five or six different user types that they define. Yep. Uh, yeah. And I'm not I'm not sure about GitLab, uh, and uh, and it also changes by project, right? So some some projects have user types called uh, collaborators, I believe, uh, who are I think they exist outside of the organization. Uh, yeah, we those are those are GitHub permissions. Um, so before we before we change that, I mean, so the way we do it in a lot of CNCF projects is we don't necessarily use the, the GitHub permissions. We, we tend to use bots that control all the things, um, as you know. And within, um, uh, so I wouldn't say bots or reviewer type, um, whoever type that, but um, within a lot of the, the CNCF projects, we have org members, we have reviewers, and we have maintainers um, as like the, the roles. So when you're talking about reviewer type, are you talking about like the role that that person's in within the project or is that something else? The roles within that project. Okay. Yeah, I think the contributor role is probably better than reviewer type. Uh, uh... So, so the or reviewer, question, reviewer role, maybe. A reviewer role, who is reviewing? Like either yeah. it's a maintainer or a manager or a board of director. Or, yeah, or who, whoever is reviewing. Yes. Yeah. Like that. So why not bot? Because many of the pull requests, when you submit the bot also reviews them. If we want to have a filter of how much time the bot takes to review those things. I think that the bot reviews it for kind of those structural things. Yes, but right? those are the reviews too. Aren't those kind of instantaneous? Can we get but a time a, on that? maybe in nanoseconds or seconds, but they are there, which might skew your results and you want to filter them. Um, yeah, okay. So I would say that we should add bots as something that we filter by as something separate from the reviewer yes. role. Yeah, yes. because um, so the bots can have a significant amount of time. So there are a lot of like automated CI jobs that in projects like Kubernetes and Knative, those, those CI jobs can take a little while to run. Um, and those, those could skew your results if you're not uh, filtering, filtering out the bots. Do we need to add some comment to bots? So I, I added it as a filter, but uh, I 
maybe something like bot versus human or something like is that what you're filtering i don't know I feel like there are so many different types of bots that I'm struggling to come up with something that would likely apply in most situations. Um, I would kind of leave it as bots because that's that's something you can filter on and you might like the impact is going to be different depending on what you're what you're doing. Maybe know. just bot reviewers. Bot reviews rather than bot reviewers. Well, oh, maybe. This is our standard blurb, right? Yes. Because this seems, <laughs> seems a little out of context. Um, but if it's part of the template. Yeah, that'll that'll uh, that'll be italicized in the uh, in the markdown. Okay. So it doesn't uh, so it does kind of pop out in a way that uh, Uh, will look like a disclaimer rather than uh okay fair enough uh dei is there a dei consideration for the objective maybe depending on the reviewer or Maintain workload. Uh, Is that how we normally phrase that for diverse contributors? That I don't seems weird to me. I don't think so. Yeah, it is weird. I was trying to. I'm kind of struggling with the language here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you, if you have for, a better... for contributors from different backgrounds or something, or contributors uh, from different uh, groups. Uh, review times for maybe oh for maybe for different contributors uh, to ensure uh, something DEI or uh, no inclusivity inclusivity, inclusivity. yep. To ensure or to promote? Maybe to identify inclusivity issues. 
because we're talking about discrepancies in review times for different oh. contributors to indicate oh. inclusivity. I don't know. Kate, uh, um, whether the review process is inclusive. There you go. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Do we need to talk about any of these other changes? I mean, most of them look good to me. Yep. We can probably just go through and accept them. Okay, let me do it. Okay. We just need two visualizations, then I think it's good. If you get those, Vinod, can you kick off the review process too? you have the action to add the visualizations, submit the PR and kick off the review process. Yes. All right. So I yeah, I'll, I'll start kickoff process for both the metrics. One is times waiting for review action and time waiting for submitter action. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I think we've reached the end of the agenda unless there's anything else that people people want to talk about today. All good. Okay, cool. All right, well, thank you everybody for coming. It's good to see all of you. Recenter yourself, Don, and the house hunting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, good, good luck. Good luck Thanks. on that. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks. Put it all behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to move. I don't want to have to. I don't want to start over. It's, it reminds me of like in the days when I would like work on a paper, you know, like an academic paper, and like saving was not a thing, and like computers would crash, and you would lose it, and you're like, oh, did I just yeah. literally lose? <laughs> That entire section. Uh, let's do yeah, it again. That's how I <laughs> feel. Them. Just starting over. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good Thank day. You. Bye, Bye, everybody.